Hello, I'm Dr. Priyanka Reddy, Fertility Consultant, Motherhood Hospital in HRBR Layout, Bangalore. Previously, I've spoken about timed intercourse and intrauterine insemination. Now let's see what is in vitro fertilization or IVF. Who requires IVF? Either the woman is having bilateral fallopian tube blocked or there's severe male factor infertility or there's a diminished ovarian reserve and the other factor would be unexplained infertility. What is the procedure for IVF? In IVF, we ask the woman to come in on the second year of periods where we look at the scan and the blood test to determine that the patient can go ahead that particular cycle. Once she is ready, we start with injections and daily injections will be taken for about 8 to 10 days. Once the egg is ready, an injection called as trigger injection is given and 36 hours later, the, the trigger injection is given and 35 hours after the trigger injection, the procedure called as egg pickup is done. For egg pickup, the woman needs to have a mild anesthesia and the eggs are retrieved. Once the eggs are retrieved, the husband will be asked to give his semen sample and the procedure of IVF that is in vitro fertilization or a procedure called as ICSI that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection is done in the lab. The embryos take about three to five days to develop in our lab and once they are ready, they are transferred back into the uterus of the woman. The procedure for embryo transfer is simple where no anesthesia is required. The patient is asked to come in with a full bladder and we will transfer the embryos back into the uterus. Once the embryos are transferred, the patient stays in the hospital for about two to three hours and is ready to go back home. Thank you.